Hey guys, today I want to talk a little bit about the sad part about some expats here in the Philippines. There is some sad cases here in the Philippines. Things that happen to people that get exploited, okay? And somebody left a comment in, the, in, the, in one of my um, videos and it mentioned about how much they, they hated to see some poor expat get taken advantage of by some girl basically get ripped off because he wanted to have his dream of finding love, settling down, and being happy till the day that he passes away. I, you know, and I was thinking about that afterwards. I says, it's kind of true what he says, because a lot of people come here, they find that happiness, and some of them don't. They get hurt, they get burned, they get exploited, they get ripped off. Um, some people come over here, they're too sickly to really take care of themselves. That's, that's why they want to have a Filipino girl to take care of them. And they, they just tell the girl, well, I'll take care of you too. What happens is they get in with the wrong girl or whatever. And the girl exploits them, rips them off, takes them to the cleaners. And then sometimes there's cases where it actually works out. I've seen that. We actually have some vloggers online where the girl is extremely young and the guy is a lot older. And... It tends to work for some people. It does work. I'm lucky. I'm kind of in a um, relationship. My girlfriend's older. Um, she's in her mid 40s and I'm 58. So we're really kind of close to our ages. And it's, it's, it's nice to be in that place sometimes versus with the younger girls sometimes, mm, you kind of shake your head and say, do I want to get involved in that and have to pay the price? you know, of, of having a younger girl, of having to, you know, make sure that she's always happy 24 seven. And, you know, is she going to be able to take care of me? And is she mature enough to have a conversation with every morning and every night? And is she going to understand things? And that's the problem is you're kind of raising a kid versus having a wife. I mean, there's some mature women out there that are in their twenties over here. Don't get me wrong. There are some women out there like that, but I do, I do hate to see when I see some older guy, and I've seen many over here. I talk to expats all day long, and sometimes into the wee hours of the morning, you know, sometimes I'll be on the phone talking to some of these expats, and they're telling me their story or what have you, and it leaves you wondering, okay, who's, who's the, the person that's getting exploited here? Is it the girl, or is it the guy? In most cases, it's the guy. You know, it really is because all the guy wants is his love. He just wants to be happy. You know, he had a rough life. He might have went through one, two, three, four divorces or whatever. Might have had a bunch of mental health issues or relationship issues, family issues or whatever. He's just trying to hammer out his little bit of happiness over here in the Philippines. And the first person he runs into is some psycho that wants to steal all his money. Happens all the time. You know, we hear it all the time from different vlogs, different stories, and I see it all the time. And yeah, it is sad. It is very, very saddening to watch like a, a slow train wreck. And some guys over here, you can almost look at them when they jump off the plane and say, this guy's gonna be a train wreck. This guy is gonna be a train wreck. You know, and you can, you can just kind of tell by looking at him. And you wanna tell them, but you don't have the heart to tell them, and it's not your place to tell them, really. They kind of have to find out on their own, unfortunately. You know, it's, it's part of life in the Philippines is that sometimes it's best to just stay out of other people's issues. Let them find out on their own what it's like. Because a lot of these guys come over here, they get involved with these young girls. And some of them are okay. Some of them, they work out great. Some of them, the girls are okay with having an older guy. Some girls are really dig being with an older guy because the older guys, he's, he's healthy, he's good looking, he's handsome or whatever. And you know, he's might be in his fifties or sixties, but he's still got it together. He's still looking good. He still exercises. He's, he's got some money. He, he, he can live in a nice place. He can give the girl a good life. That's great. That's great. But sometimes the girl comes along and she's just wants the money. She wants to figure out how she can get his money and she plays this long game with him where she tries to figure out the best way to get his money. And that might be marrying him and then taking off later, trying to talk him into going back to the States. We had one guy over here. 
he come over here. Um, he got hooked up with this girl. I told him, you know, he should think twice about being with this girl because the girl's talking behind his back and stuff like that. And he was, you know, he was all attracted to her because of the way she looked. She was in her mid thirties. She was decent looking for him. I mean, he wasn't the best looking guy in the world, but for him, that's what he wanted. He wasn't willing to give that up. He had money. He had a military pension. He had a bunch of other pensions. And you know what? The girl, first thing she did was had him buy a house in her name. Rule number one, don't ever do that. Next thing she did, had him marry her in the United States and get her back to the U.S. on a fiancé visa. Rule number two, don't do that. You know, with a really, really young girl if you're older, because it's not going to work out probably. Because when she gets back, a lot of guys are going to be talking to her, saying how beautiful she is. They're going to be way better looking than you. And she's going to start realizing that she's the one who is exotic over there. Because over here, she's a dime a dozen. You're the exotic one. So he gets her back there. He buys a house back there somewhere down south. I won't say so nobody can figure out who I'm talking about. Okay, he buys a house. Now, so far, so good. Now, this guy, he's capable of getting some sort of um, caretaker stuff for your wife or whatever. The, you, your wife can get caretaker money through the military or something like that for people that are 100% disabled. I guess this, this guy's, like, really disabled, so he can, he can get that, okay? So that kind of might, might make her want to stay behind and hold, you know, and not leave. But in the end... I still think once she figures things out and got it all figured out on what she's going to do, she's going to up and leave the guy. She's going to take away half his pensions. She can't touch some things, but she can touch his military pensions and stuff. And I tried warning the guy, but some people, guess what? You could talk to them until you're blue, till you're blue in the face. It don't matter. They ain't going to listen. And this guy wouldn't listen. So it's probably going to happen. Now, I wish him the best. I hope it doesn't happen, but you know something? Most of those, they're a slow train wreck. They happen. Um, I see many cases where it doesn't happen. A lot of Filipino marriages work out. But this particular girl was already starting on the path of putting down this guy, talking crap about him behind his back, and it wasn't good. And it makes one wonder you know, and it's kind of scary. Makes one wonder, you know, why people don't keep their eyes open. They don't keep their eyes open. They just go blindly into this stuff. And people warn them, and I've warned this guy, and I've told other people here, you know, be careful, always have your eyes open. I hooked up a friend of mine um, with a girl up north. Um, very nice girl, come from a really nice uh, Catholic family. And he comes from a Catholic background too. And I can just tell that the relationship is going to work because he tries. He works at it. He's, he's one of these people. He knows how relationships work kind of. And he's trying to make it work. But now we can't get her back right now because of all the COVID stuff, which is kind of sad. I'm not sure if she's back yet or not. The last picture I saw looked like she, like a picture that was taken when he was over here. But I'm hoping to God that maybe, you know, they, they're together now. I have to call him sometime and check in with him and see if they are together. But you know something? These are the things that happen here. You got to be careful. You got to pay attention. You know, don't get taken. Don't get ripped off. Don't get conned. You know, just be careful. But most of all, don't be one of those guys. Those lonely old guys that come over here. Leave yourself wide open because you're desperate. Do not come over here if you're desperate to find a woman, okay? If you're desperate to find a woman, you're opening up a can of worms over here that you can't shut. Because women over here will take, take advantage of that desperation like there's no tomorrow because you'll get the wrong woman right from the get-go. You need to find a decent woman. Anyway, guys, I want to do a little video about that today was something that was kind of on my chest for the past couple of days. We haven't talked about stuff like this in a while. We usually don't talk relationships much on here. 
But I did want to kind of cover that. Anyway, guys, God bless, and I love you guys.